Welcome back again, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here. We're going to uh, continue with our three times structure builds for the midterm destruction. Again, just one more time. We're using the insert as our guidelines because it has the structure decks listed. Again, we've been going left to right. So today's Tyranno Hassleberry. Uh, we're going to be doing the food chain times three build. Uh, so again, if you like some dinosaurs, today's a good video for you. And then again, when we wrap these videos up, we will be playing these decks against each other here at the Casual Duelist. Uh, so again, stay tuned for that as well. Um, so, a food chain and the deck. How does it work? Well, first, flip this over when you activate the skill. So, unlike a couple of the last videos, um, those decks or those skills started the game face up. This one, not so much. So, food chain. How does it work? Once per turn, apply one of the following skills. Uh, first one, destroy a dinosaur or reptile you control, then special summon a dino or reptile that is one level, or sorry, one dinosaur that is one level higher than uh, the one that you uh, popped from either the hand or the deck. Very good. Or you can tribute one dinosaur by banishing two dinosaur and or reptiles from graveyard instead of tributing. This still counts as being a tribute summon. So again, it's still like proper, uh, but you're not using cards from the field. So is what it is deck list um first we're going to start off single copy dark dry Zeratops. mentioned him a couple videos ago um because he was sitting face up on the table uh let's be honest let's call it for what it is right um good card six star dino 24 by 15 when it attacks defense inflict piercing it's not bad it's not an end-all be-all and we don't really use the climb so much as we use the uh last effect next up two copies destroyer saurus so again, much in line with every one of the field spells searching monster cards. Um, you can discard this from the hand to add the named field spell from deck to hand, this time Jurassic World. And the stats are kind of funny because they're always a four star. Um, and when the field spells up, their stats always equal 21. So Destroy Source starts at 18 because Jurassic World is going to give us three. Um, just kind of fun trivia. Uh, maybe you don't find it fun. It's trivia. Uh, next monster, three copies Dynabase, and I've been looking forward to playing this. So if your life points are lower than the opponents, you can special summon this from the hand. Good. During the main phase, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from the extra deck using this card and other monsters from hand and field as material. And each effect is once per turn. But it's not, uh, you can only use one effect, and it's not like a hard once per turn, but it is a hard once per turn per effect. Um, so you could special summon this, normal summon, and tag them, whatever you want. Um, but the good part is we don't need polymerization in order to go into our fusion. So that's cool. Uh, we are going to use two copies Saber Source because it's just generically good. Four star, 1900. Can't get over, can't get over that. Uh, one copy Sauropod Brachion. A nice little eight star here. Cannot be special summoned from the deck. Uh, you can tribute summon this by face, uh, sorry, you can tribute some of this face up by tributing one dinosaur monster. So a little bit like the super ancient dino beast. It's kind of got that cool ability. Uh, once per turn, you can change this to face down defense position. If this card is flip summoned, change all other monsters on the field to face down defense position. If this card is attacked, any battle damage your opponent takes from that battle is doubled. Um, again, I would love to play this with other cards. I just don't want to tell you guys what those cards are quite yet uh, because it's a secret. It's cool. It's awesome. I want you guys to uh, be proud of me. Um, and then last up, we're going to be playing two copies Ultimate Tyranno. Uh, just to round out the, the whole deck, we got to have the boss monster. Eight stars, 3,000 by 22. Um, this card can attack all monsters the opponent controls once each. During your battle phase, if you control one of these monsters that can attack other monsters other than named card, Cannot attack. So I would assume, and again, I'd love a ruling from you guys. I would assume that if I have two ultimate Tyrannos, they can both attack. But if I only have one and it can attack, meaning it's like an attack mode and it's not held up by something like Shadow Spell, uh, Fiendish Chains, uh, Spellbinding Circle. Um, I would assume that that means that um, he's the only one that can attack then. Um, but if he's incapacitated, then the rest of everybody can attack. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but he's good. He's a definite field controller and, uh, play it. Uh, we are going to run two copies fossil dig. Again, this is going to let us grab anything of the, uh, the sabers, the destroyers, uh, the dark dry Zeratops. 
Um, doesn't work on the Dyna bases, doesn't work on the Ultimate Tyranna, does not work on the Sauropod. Uh, six stars and lower. But again, there's other tech builds that we can be doing um, that this is going to come in handy for. Next, there's two Jurassic Worlds. And again, dinosaurs just gained 300 A and D. Um, so again, this makes Ultimate Tyranno 3300. Um, makes some of the other stuff pretty good too. All right, next up, we're going to be using copies of Tail Swipe. We're going to go with two. The way this is going to work, target a level five or higher dinosaur that you control. If that dinosaur monster is still face up on the field during resolution, choose up to two monsters you put in controls that are a lower level than it and or face down. Bounce those targets back to the hand. And again, this is really good because once you get like guys like Ultimate Tyranno or you're using the Sauropod, again, you flip summon. Nobody wants to attack it because it's got the 3,000. They'll take double the, double the damage. We get that. But if they don't, then the Tail Swipe's going to send those cards back to the hand. Um, and at which point, where's your defense? So again, good stuff. Uh, going to their traps, we're going to use two copies, Paleozoic Canadia. Uh, select, a, or sorry, target a face-up monster the opponent controls on activation. Put it in face-down defense, basically Trap Book of Moon. However, once per chain when a trap is activated while this is in the graveyard, special summon this card as a normal monster. Uh, Two-star water, aqua, 12 by zero defense. This is no longer treated as a trap card. That is important. Uh, if summoning this way, this card is unaffected by monster effects and banished when it leaves the field. Um, so what this does is this, uh, this allows us a little bit of extra defense. Our opponent's going to run some traps, obviously. Um, if we run into Sakuretsu armor or something, we can go ahead. We could play this guy up. Uh, we can put him in attack mode. If there was like nothing blocking us, we can continue the attack. That might be game. Uh, otherwise, this pairs off well with the tail swipe. This pairs off well with trying to keep our monsters alive on board. Um, again, uh, there's a lot that you could do with this. Uh, last card is the survival instinct at one because every now and again there's a time where i just want to blow up my own side of the field um ban it as the way this works is uh i chose the wrong card um so just real quick while i'm here this was not the dinosaur card i meant to have placed in my deck we meant to have the volcanic eruption see this is what's so good about this you never know what's going to happen when i film um, so let's just kind of get everything there. So volcanic eruption and the way that volcanic eruption works is it is not a volcanic card. It does not work for the archetype. Second, during the end phase, if you control Jurassic world, sorry, during your own end phase, if you control Jurassic world, you may destroy all cards on the field. If this is like a last ditch, you know, the opponents got you, you can do this. Okay. It is an option. I, I messed up. The survival instinct is if you're playing like Tyranno Infinity and you want to go ahead and you gain a bunch of life points by banishing a bunch of different dinosaurs, then you can do that. You can make it like a really huge dinosaur at four stars. It's cool. It's everything. Um, volcanic Eruption, not Survival Instinct. That's my bad. Uh, extra deck, three monster cards. It's going to be three copies of Dynatank. And the way Dynatank works, if you guys missed the speed will spotlight on this, this is actually going to be a seven star. So like you could food chain the Dynatank into the next one, um, which is actually kind of stupid and insane because I'm going to explain that move here too. Um, so what this is, is one machine plus one dinosaur. So this is going to be Dynabase plus anybody. Uh, gain attack equal to the original attack of the dinosaur used for the uh, fusion summon. Uh, gain each of the following effects or use each of the following effects only once per turn. When a card or effect is activated that targets this card on the field, no other cards, quick effect, target another appropriate target, and then... Uh, that effect is now going to target that card. Uh, if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can special summon a dinosaur uh, monster from your graveyard. Um, so this is good. You basically, you want your opponent to go ahead and break this so you can just throw back another dinosaur. Um, and then, oh, cheesy Pete's. Um, I'd like to apologize for that. Um, but if for some reason you needed to, you could blow this up with food chain to get to your ultimate terrain if your opponent activated something like, and I don't remember right now, Spellbinding Circle might be in this uh, format. If they hit you with a Spellbinding Circle, you could food chain into a terrain. The only problem is you are not going to get, and I need you to understand this, you're not going to get the dinosaur card back 
from the Dynatank Destruction. Um, and again, just because of the fact that it's not an opponent's card effect destroying it. Um, but generally speaking, if the mo opponent's monster card destroys it or, you know, like battle or effect, as long as it's the opponent's card, you can jump another dinosaur back. doesn't even have to be the same dinosaur that you used. Um, so that's it. That's the deck. I'm going to move this over to here. Since I already shook this all up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. This way, this is like good. Go ahead, screenshot, uh, whatever you guys want. Um, again, sorry for the hiccup and hopefully you guys enjoyed this and the next time you guys stop by i'm going to have the fossil build ready for you so until then do the things don't do the things do the one thing that i always insist on i just want you guys to go out and have a wonderful day just so just go ahead just focus on the mental health focus on self for a night and uh just enjoy yourselves all right hope to see you guys again next time later